everybody come on in it's a soup day i am going to start by chopping up some veggies this is some of those confetti peppers i got some potatoes i chopped by hand i got um, mixed vegetables i got i'm gonna put a little bit of okra in there and i'm gonna use some of that secret lifting onion soup mix and i'll be using some browned uh turkey meat so let's get oh and i've got some lima beans i'm gonna drop in there so we need some thick pot of soup today i'm kind of feeling like i'm just trying to i've been nursemaid and nourished so i'm gonna get working on me um make sure don't let the catch up with me too much so we're gonna get on and get this soup going that's what i feel like eat today yes i do yes i do. i want to do a peach cobble but I'm, I'm not real sure yet i'm sort of iffy on the peach cobble but we'll see so let's get going with these veggies so for the most part just toss it like so and as i chop the, each veggie up this is my confetti pepper i'm just going to dump them right in this one bowl with my potatoes i hope you all are having a god blessed thursday i tell you it's the end of the week again y'all the end of the week again how do we get here so fast isn't that amazing isn't that amazing? But this is here. And, if, and you know, this weekend, uh, Norik has had a sort of been under the weather for the last couple of weeks. So, you know, this weekend is his and um, his dad's birthday weekend. So I don't know if we're going to be able to do anything birthday party-wise. So we're just going to see. He was, he was a sick little fella, y'all. Y'all keep him lifted and pray. You know that, that flu is going through. We just have to keep our babies and everybody else lifted up. Because I, mean, I think I told y'all that morning I took him. To, what in the world is going on, Mr. Chopper? Now, come on here. Get on here right. Um, we went to the pediatrics. That place was packed full. And when I say packed full, I'm not exaggerating. And I'm sure if you're listening to the news, you're you're hearing that uh, that that flu is going around. Just a regular flu. But I had all our flu shots. I hope you all got yours. I sure got mine. And you know, sometimes it won't stop you from having the flu or whatever, but it will make it won't be so bad on you if you get it. So that's what I'm hoping, friends, that. If it's knocking on my door, it won't be so bad, y'all. Okay, we're going to get these onions cut up in there. Did you see me stand there and put all them onions before I put the blade? I got to put the blade. So y'all hang tight and I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, we're down to the meat. This is my ground taco turkey. So it's going to have that taco flavor. My mama's trying to copycat Tanya's soup. That soup that she made the other day, it was ooh, ooh good, y'all. It was a little bit spicy, but it was real, 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 real good. We enjoyed it, honey. We enjoyed it. I shared a little bit with my neighbor. Karina really enjoyed it. So today, since we need to do some soup, this is the meat that I have. You know, I tell y'all all the time, I use whatever's in my freezer. So this is the, uh, we have a seed of uh, video. Taco turkey. Yeah, real good. So in other words, it's gonna have a taco flavor to it. A little bit of a flair, and we're gonna complement it with uh, some veggies. And uh you see what it tastes like. Of course you gotta drop some tomatoes in there. And all I'm doing to it now is just letting it brown up a little bit. So I won't get it too oily. Like I said, I'm trying to get me some food going. This is uh Get it up here a little bit. This is going to be my soup, my wellness soup. What about that? It looks like it already has a lot of seasoning in it, and it does have that taco seasoning, so I'm sure it's really, 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 really good, y'all. I am looking forward to tasting it. So, what do y'all got going on today? Hope you're having a God bless Thursday. Hope all is well with you. And by the way, y'all be careful. If you haven't gotten your flu shots, get your flu shots. Get all that stuff done. 
So I'm telling you, this flu thing is running rampant, y'all. All over the place. Okay. When that gets to a certain point, I'm, oh my God, all my veggies all chopped up. Got my veggies chopped. Okay. I got some onions, some celery, and the red and yellow peppers chopped up right there, like so. And what I'm going to do is just simply put them right in, and some potatoes. I'm just going to put all that right in. And like, sort, let it sort of saute a little bit. Okay, Ooh, that looks good. It smells good too. Wow. Yum, 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 yum. That's going to be good, y'all. Look at that. That was good. We haven't even hardly got nowhere near the mechanism. So we just going to let this cook up for about uh, 10 or 15 minutes and make sure everything gets all sauteed together. And then the next thing I'm going to throw in there is going to be my mixed vegetables. Well, I guess I could do all the vegetables. Yeah. That's not where I did them. Yeah, I'm not making a really, really big, big pot. It's a good size pot, because again, I don't want to have a whole bunch of leftovers. I'm going to put maybe a cup and a half of mixed vegetables in there. There we go. There we are. There we are. There. Yummy, y'all. Yummy, yummy. You can't meet a good bowl of soup. You know, there's so many uh, ways you can make soup, so many things you can add to, and so many ways you can make a good old pot of soup. Um, all this is uh, all from scratch, and you know, start from the beginning. I didn't have any leftovers going here. So this is a fresh pot of soup, and I got some, uh, I haven't decided if I'm gonna put two cans of those diced tomatoes in there or not, I may ever. Then I'm going to start putting in, I'm going to sprinkle in, it's starting to heat up a little bit. I'm going to sprinkle in me a little bit of garlic powder, about a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Yeah. That's all. And I'm going to garlic hit that stove, it smells so good, y'all. And get my onion powder out right here. Teaspoon of onion powder. Didn't put quite as much of garlic powder as I do onion powder. This is a 15 ounce can of diced uh, Del Monte tomatoes. Tomatoes. I really want some extra corn to go in there, but as I see, I don't have any extra corn, y'all. But I'm gonna let this simmer just for a little bit. Then I'm gonna put my uh, chicken bouillon broth in there, and we're gonna cover it and let it cook. And we, uh, probably about a good hour it should be done. So hang on and I'll be right back. Okay, I went ahead and put three cups of water in there. And I'm going to put me some chili. Look at the chili sauce in there. Just regular, little, regular, regular chili sauce. And I'm going to spice it up, make it a little bit spicy. <clears throat> Maybe throw in a little bit of cayenne. About a half a teaspoon of cayenne. And see what it do. Well, it's nice and thick. Okay. This kind of soup here, you can eat it with rice, so that's why I want it nice and thick, y'all. Yeah. 
Okay. And I put in my, my uh, one package of this Lipton onion soup mix. That's always an uh, all-time favorite for seasoning. We're making soups and gravies and things like that. But this is going to be nice. It has lots of nice uh, that taco meat in there. Wonderful, y'all. Absolutely wonderful. So we're just going to let this go and get to a good old boil. And once it gets to boiling real good, we're going to turn it down and let it simmer some. I think this is as thin as I want it, y'all. I may have to add some more tomatoes then. I'm just not ready right now. I want to let it cook a little bit. And I'll decide if I want to put a little, any more tomatoes in there. Okay, so we're just going to let it cook there for about 15 minutes so it comes to a good old boil. And then we will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Surprise, surprise. We're going to have some good old soup today with crackers or I got cornbread in the fridge. But I also remember Kareem asked me to make a peach cobbler. So, peach cobbler, I'm going to use three cans of uh, sliced peaches. These are, what is this, 14 or 15 ounce cans? Yeah, 15 ounce cans. I'm going to use these three cans. Del by Del Monte. I think there will be a plenty. Excellent. Now, to that. I'm going to add a sprinkle, which is probably an eighth of a teaspoon of allspice or nutmeg, whichever one you have. Just about that much. That's all you need, not a lot. Then I'm going to add a teaspoon of cinnamon. Good old cinnamon. You got to have some cinnamon in there. About a good teaspoon of cinnamon. And I always put a little vanilla flavor in mine, too, believe it or not. Just for extra added oomph. And I'm going to put some lemon juice in there. That lemon juice will give it a little tart taste for the peaches. About a couple of tablespoons of uh, one and a two of vanilla flavor. Okay. And I'm looking for my, okay, there it is. Then I'm going to add in, okay, no, you know I got some sugar. I'm using brown sugar, y'all. I love brown sugar. Okay, I'm going to put two cups of brown sugar in there. Packed brown sugar. Packed one. your brown sugar. Now I'm going to put in everything that you know if I'm just putting in everything together. This is almost a full stick of butter but not quite so I'm going to have to add some more. This is all the butter butter that I have. Now the other I'm going to use some smart balance to make out this stick of butter which is about a couple of tablespoons is all I need. A couple of tablespoons of Smart balance. Okay, that all will do it. Okay. Now everything is oh I need I need, I need my lemon juice and I need an extra teaspoon of a little Himalayan pink salt in there. To sort of blend that sugar. There's my lemon juice. About a couple of tablespoons of lemon juice in there. One and a two. All that's left to do now is put my spoon in there, mix it up, and we'll be done. Okay. Let me find the right spoon. You have to get the right spoon in there. You know that. Get my big old mixes, dipping mixing spoon here. This is how simple it is to make. This could be peaches, blueberries, 
uh, strawberry, whatever any fruit that you want to use. Apples. This is all you have to do. This is it. Get it all mixed up there together. Or I put a little flour in there because we want to thicken that juice. Make sure that juice is uh, real nice and thickened. Okay. Now we're going to leave about a fourth cup of flour. We're going to do it. Flour, cornstarch, whatever one you have. And it doesn't matter. You can just sprinkle it right in there. Because it'll make some little tiny dumplings. Some little bitty dumplings. Now this is a dump pie. Y'all know me and recipes. I, I was looking at one of my uh, fellow chefs the other day. She said, she stole my heart. She said, you know what? Put this sauce in here. She said, I don't measure it. Put in whatever you feel like is enough. I thought, all right, girl, you go on, girl. That's the way I like to cook. Now, if I'm giving you a recipe, of course, I have to give you all the exact measurements, one, if I'm sharing, but I'm just demonstrating and cooking here today. Just make sure everything is mixed in together. And we're going to set it off to the side. Then I'm going to get my pie shells. Okay, these are my Handy Dabby Food Lion Rolled Two Regal Pie Crust. These are the best pie crust I have tasted in a long time, y'all. Sorry. I don't know, about 10 months for all the expensive ones. These are good. So. I'm going to have a bottom and a top crust, and all I need to do is roll it out like so, and we got our bottom crust. You got to sort of spread it, you know, a little bit, so it'll be all on the bottom. Just take your hands and spread it, 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 spread it. And when you put the top piece on, it will go over the top of there, and it'll meet the bottom. And that's all there is to it. And these are some good pie crusts. I'm telling y'all, honey, this is one of them situations. I am not trying to reinvent the wheel. No, I am no fuss. And this going to go in at 350 for about a good, good hour and 15 minutes or so, or until that crust gets as brown as I want it. Okay. All right, dude. That's gonna be some good old peach cobbler. If you pull that sweetness together, I'm gonna add me. I always throw in me a couple of um, packets of uh, sweetener. That'll do. That'll pull it right together. And all that good old buttery, butter, 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 butter cooks into there. And we're going to have something on our hand before we get ready to sit down and eat. I'm telling you, if you don't feel good, I think after we eat this, we'll feel okay. It's like, cause I can feel that old cold trying to creep up. I feel it, y'all. I feel it in the background. All right, so hold on a minute, I'll be right back. Okay, just make sure that you get that crust pulled up as far as you can without tearing it. Just keep sort of pressing into it and pulling upward, and that'll get it uh, up around the edges of the pan. Okay, so I think we're ready to go ahead and let the rubber meet the rose, y'all. Let's go. We're just gonna simply put those pieces in. Ooh, that's a lot. Okay. I may have some left over. You know what? These will go right in the freezer. And uh, we'll do them another time. How about that? That's enough in that pan because I don't want it to uh, be all up over the top crust. Okay? 
I probably could have done that with uh, two cans of peaches, probably. But that's okay. That's okay. Not to worry. Now we're going to go ahead and get our top crust on. As soon as that oven heats up, we'll be ready to put it in there. Okay. So we got that done. Uh, okay. I'm just going to simply lay that top crust on top of that just like that. See, that's all you got to do. You don't have to just sort of like so, like this. Mm -mm. I need to pull it over this way and see if I can do it without tearing up thing. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go, people. We got us a pie. We got us a cobbler, rather. We'll get a knife and we're gonna put some slits in the top. And we're gonna be ready to put it in the oven in uh, about an hour and a half, uh, maybe, a, maybe an hour, half hour, 15 minutes. We're gonna have some peach cobbler, y'all. So y'all hang tight and I'll be right back. Okay, this is just a little slit I'm making, right? Like a little cross slit. So that probably will have somewhere to bubble up from. And we're going to go ahead and put it in the oven at 350. And when y'all see it again, I'll be ready to dish up and eat. That much filling. This will do about six biscuits one day. You want something filled biscuits, just open those biscuits up, put it in there, and throw them in the oven. You got some filled biscuits. Hang tight, y'all. I'll be right back. Okay, it's soup, y'all. Thick turkey vegetable soup and a good old pan of brown sugar peach cobbler y'all know we ready and of course you gotta have a little bit of rice and go with that thick soup so this is comfort food so just in case this is flu that's crept up on me i am armored up i'm ready to combat this whatever it is that's going on with me i'm ready for it y'all whatever it is and it feels like it's, it might, might be a virus, it might be a sinus infection, I don't know. But whatever it is, I got my soup, my cobbler, and my rice uh, to combat it. As you can see, I've already dug in and got me some. I almost forgot to end the video. So anyway, y'all, keep those prayers going up. Now, so the blessings will continue to come down. Pray without ceasing and do something kind for some. In fact, start with yourself. Go ahead on if you feel like something creeping up on you. Go ahead and get you a good old pot of soup going. I guarantee it'll make you feel better. So until I decide to cook again, love you guys. Toodles.